Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to reveal a best ever technique to design any clock frequency divider. And that too with required duty cycle. And in this technique, we will utilize a ring counter. Friends, after knowing this step by step approach, you will be able to design any clock frequency divider in less than half a minute. A clock frequency divider is a circuit which takes a signal of frequency F at its input and gives a signal of frequency F by N at its output, where N can be an integer number or a fraction. Now let us see how this useful and interesting technique works. Let us get started. Friends, I have divided this video into two parts. In the first part of the video, we will learn about the design of clock frequency dividers using ring counter to generate a signal of frequency F by N, where N can be any integer number. It can be odd or even number. And in the second part of the video, we will learn about the design of clock frequency divider using ring counter to get a signal of frequency F by N where n can be any fractional number, for example, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, etc. Let us start learning the design of clock frequency divider to get a signal of frequency f by n, where n is an integer number. And let us consider the easiest case, where n is equal to 5. If this is a clock frequency divider, having input signal of frequency f, and its output signal will have the frequency f by 5. And the time period of the output signal will be 5 times the time period of the input signal as frequency is inversely proportional to the time period. And now let us have a look at its expected waveform. If this is the input signal having time period t in and frequency f, then this will be the output waveform having time period 5 times the time period of the input signal. So that means 1 clock cycle is equal to 5 clock cycle of the input clock signal. In this case, we have taken duty cycle as 50%. But in the process of designing, I will let you know how you can get required duty cycle. Now, let us see the actual inside design of this clock frequency divider. In the first step of the design process, you have to include a n-bit ring counter. For example, in this case, you are going to design a clock frequency divider to get a frequency f by 5. You have to take 5 from here. We have to include a ring counter where n will be 5. I mean to say we have to include a 5-bit ring counter in our design. And this is the design of 5-bit ring counters. And as per the functionality of this ring counter, output of flip-flop 1 goes to the input of flip-flop 2 and the output of flip-flop 2 will go to the input of flip-flop 3 and so on. And finally, the output of flip-flop 5 will go to the input of uh, flip-flop 1. Let us have a look at the output of each flip-flop inside the ring counter. And this is a clock signal which is shown here. It has a frequency f. Let us also assume that the reset value of flip-flop 1 is high and the reset value of all the other flip-flops is 0. As per the definition of ring counter, the reset value of one of the flip-flop in ring counter must have value high and all the other flip-flops must have reset value 0. Now in the first clock cycle, Q1 is high, Q2, Q3, Q4 and Q5 are all 0. And in the next clock edge, this one will be passed to Q2 because Q1 is high. So this value 1 will be passed to the output of flip-flop 2 that is Q2. And Q5 was 0, so Q1 will become 0. So Q1 will become 0. Similarly, in the next clock cycle, this Q3 will go high and Q1 and Q2 will become 0. And in the next clock cycle, Q4 will be high, Q1, Q2, Q3 will be all 0. And in the fifth clock cycle, Q5 will go high. And in that case, all the other flip-flops will have zero value. And in the next clock edge, again, this Q5 will be passed to the output of flip-flop 1. So, Q1 will go high. And Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5 will remain zero. And so on. 
This way value 1 keep on rotating within the ring counter and at a given time the value of only one flip flop inside the ring counter will have value high and all the other flip flops will hold the value 0. Let us take our intention to the signal Q1. It is a periodic signal and its period is equal to 5 clock periods of the input clock signal. And as the input clock signal has a frequency f, so that means q1 has a frequency f by 5, which is our requirement. Similarly, the signals q2, q3, and q4 and q5 all have a frequency f by 5. And let us see what is its duty cycle. Duty cycle is 1, the on time, upon the total time, that is 5 clock cycles of the input signal. So 1 by 5, or we can say it is 20%. Friends, as we already have achieved the desired frequency and now let us talk about how we can get the desired duty cycle. So in step 2, we are going to discuss about the adjustment of duty cycle. Q1 remains high for 1 clock cycle of the input signal and the total period is equal to 5 clock cycle. So duty cycle is 1 by 5 that is 20%. Now let us take another example. If I want to make duty cycle equal to 40%. In that case, I want my output signal to be high for 2 clock cycle of the input signal and its period should be 5 clock cycle only. 2 by 5 and it will become 40%. So this is the signal which remains high for 2 clock cycle and the total period is equal to 5 clock cycle of the input signal. It is very easy to get this signal simply make O-ring of Q1 with Q2 and you will get the desired signal. Similarly, if you want to get a signal of duty cycle 60%, you need to add Q1, Q2 and Q3. If you want to get a signal of 80%, you need to or Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Now, let us see the final logic circuit diagram of clock frequency divider to get a frequency a by 5 and duty cycle 40%. We will put OR gate on Q1 and Q2. So this will be a ring counter which is having 5 bits, 5 flip flops and we will put OR gate on Q1 and Q2 to get our final output. Friends, let us see few more examples of duty cycle adjustment. As usual, we prefer the duty cycle of our clock signal as 50%. Let us see how we can make uh, the duty cycle of our signal Q1 as 50%. A signal to have a duty cycle of 50% means that it should be high for 2 and half clock cycle and it should remain low for 2 and half clock cycle. Total period will be 5 clock cycles. And it is very easy to get it. If you see, if I put a OR gate on Q1 and Q2, I will get a signal which will be high for 2 clock cycle and which will be low for 3 clock cycle. But I need another signal which should be high in this area. We need to simply put a negative edge trigger flip flop after Q2. So this will be the signal. So Q2 will be delayed by half clock cycle. Let us name this signal as Q2 underscore FFN. Now we simply need to add Q1 Q2 and Q2 underscore FFN. So our signal will remain high for 2 and half clock cycle and it will remain low for 2 and half clock cycle. So this will be our final output which will have a frequency f by 5 and duty cycle 50%. So this will be our final logic circuit diagram of clock frequency divider to get a frequency f by 5 and duty cycle 50%. And this will be our final signal. Similarly, we can get other duty cycles like 10%, 30%, 50%, 70%, and 90%. So, for example, if you put negativized ticket flip flop after Q1 and or in Q1 with Q1 underscore FFN, that is the output of negativized ticket flip flop, so we will get 30% duty cycle. Similarly, if you put negativized ticket flip flop after Q2, and we or Q1, Q2 and the output of negative trigger flip-flop, we will get 50% duty cycle as we already saw. 
Similarly, if I put negative H together flip flop after Q3 and I or Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q3 underscore FFN that is output of negative H together flip flop, I will get 70% duty cycle. In the same way, if I put negative H together flip flop after Q4 and I do ORing of Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and Q4 underscore FFN that is output of negative H together flip flop, I will get 90% duty cycle. Now my question to the audience is, how will you get duty cycle of 10% from the given signals? Please write down your answer in the comment section below. Friends, finally I am going to conclude all the points for the implementation of clock frequency divider to divide a input frequency f by n, where n is an integer number. In the very first step, we need to include an n bit ring counter. At the output of each flip flop inside the ring counter is a signal of frequency f by n, which is our requirement. So that means we already have achieved the desired clock frequency. And the duty cycle at the output of each flip flop inside the ring counter will be 1 by n. For example, if we are implementing a clock frequency divided to divide input frequency by 5, so the duty cycle at the output of each flip flop will be 1 by 5. I explained it in the example. And now the second step is to adjust the duty cycle. So duty cycle can be adjusted by doing OR operation at the output of flip flops inside the ring counter. Duty cycle can also be adjusted at higher granularity by putting negative edge flip flop along with the OR gate as I explained earlier. Now last but not the least the design of clock frequency divider using ring counter to divide the input frequency f by n where n can be a fraction for example 1.5, 2.5, 3.5 etc. Friends actually this video is getting lengthy so I thought of creating a separate video on this and I have created it and I will give its link in the information bar as well as in the description section below. Friends with this I am going to close this session and I hope this would be quite helpful and informative for all of you. Please share your suggestion in the comment section below and in future we are going to create many such videos and to be aligned please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much for watching.